वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय रीडिंग फ्रॉम श्रीमद् भागवतम कैंटो 1 चैप्टर 1 एंटाइटल्ड क्वेश्चन बाय द सेजेस टेक्स्ट नंबर 18 अथ आख्या हरे धीमन अवतार कथा शुभ लीला विदधत स्वरम ईश्वर आत्म आत्मा माया माया ही हरेर धीमन अवतार कथा शुभ लीला विदत स्वरम ईश्वर अताख्या हरिर्धीमन अवतार कथा शुभ लीला विदत स्वरम ईश्वर आत्मया अताख्या हरिर्धीमन अवतार कथा शुभ लीला विदत स्वरम ईश्वर आत्मया अथा क्या ही हरे धीम अवतार कथा शुभ अवतार अवतार कथा शुभ ईश्वर अथाख्या हि हरे धीम अवतार कथा शुभ अवतार कथा शुभ लीला विदत स्वरम ईश्वर आत्मया अथ धैर फोर आख्या डिस्क्राइब हरे ऑफ द लॉर्ड धीमन ओ सेजेशियस वन सेजेशियस वन अवतार इनकारनेशन कथा नरेटिव शुभ ऑस्पीशियस लीला एडवेंचरस विदत परफॉर्म स्वरम पास्ट टाइम्स ईश्वर ऑफ द सुप्रीम कंट्रोलर आत्मा पर्सनल माया एनर्जीज ट्रांसलेशन एंड परपोइट बाई हिस्ट्री बैंड ग्रेस ए सी भक्तिवेदांत स्वामिश्रा प्रभुपाद ट्रांसलेशन ओ वाई सूता प्लीज नरेट टू अस द ट्रांसेंडेंटल पास टाइम्स ऑफ द सुप्रीम गॉड इट्स मल्टी इनकारनेशंस सच ऑस्पीशियस एडवेंचरस एंड पास टाइम्स ऑफ द लॉर्ड द सुप्रीम कंट्रोलर आर परफॉर्म बाई हिज इंटरनल पावर्स परपोइट For the creation, maintenance, and destruction of the material worlds, the supreme Lord, personality of Godhead Himself, appears in many thousands of forms of incarnations, and the specific adventures found in those transcendental forms are all auspicious. Both those who are present during such activities and those who hear the transcendental narrations of such activities are benefited. <coughs> ओम ज्ञानतिरांद ज्ञानाजनशलाकय 
ಚಕ್ಷುರನ್ಮಲಿತಂ ಯೇನ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರವೇ ನಮಃ ನಮೋ ಓಂ ವಿಷ್ಣುಪಾದಾಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ರೇಷ್ಠಾಯ ಭೂತಲಿ ಶ್ರೀಮತಿ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವಿದಾಂತ ಸ್ವಾಮಿನಿ ನಾಮನೆ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಸಾರಸ್ವತೆ ದೇವೇ ಗೌರವಾಣಿ ಪ್ರಚಾರಣೆ ನಿರ್ವಿಶೇಷ ಶೂನ್ಯವಾದಿ ಪಾಶ್ಚಾತ್ಯ ದೇಶತಾರಣೆ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶ್ರೀವಾಸ ಆದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತ ವೃಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಅತಾಖ್ಯಾ ಹಿ ಹರೇರ್ ಧೀಮನ್ ಅವತಾರ ಕಥಾ ಶುಭಾ ಲೀಲಾ ವಿದತತ ಸ್ವೈರಂ ಈಶ್ವರ ಸ್ಯಾತ್ಮ ಮಾಯಯ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಷನ್ ಓ ವೈ ಸೂತ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ನರೇ ಟು ಅಸ್ ದ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸೆಂಡೆಂಟಲ್ ಪಾಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸುಪ್ರೀಂ ಗಾಡ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಮಲ್ಟಿ ಇನ್ಕಾರ್ನೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಸಚ್ ಆಸ್ಪೀಷಿಯಸ್ ಅಡ್ವೆಂಚರಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪಾಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲಾಡ್ ದ ಸುಪ್ರೀಂ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲರ್ ಆರ್ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಹಿಸ್ ಇಂಟರ್ನಲ್ ಪವರ್ಸ್ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪರ್ಪರ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರಭುಪಾದ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಷನ್ ಮೈಂಟೆನೆನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ಸ್ ದ ಸುಪ್ರೀಂ ಲಾಡ್ ಪರ್ಸ್ನಾಲಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಹಿಮ್ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಅಪಿಯರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಮೆನಿ ಥೌಸಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇನ್ಕಾರ್ನೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಸಂಹಿತ ವಿ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ವರ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಸೃಷ್ಟಿ ಸ್ಥಿತಿ ಪ್ರಳಯ ಸಾಧನ ಶಕ್ತಿ ರೇಖ ಛಾಯೇ ವಯಸ್ಯ ಭುವನಾನಿ ಬಿಭರ್ತಿ ದುರ್ಗ ಇಚ್ಛಾನುರೂಪಂ ಅಪಿ ಯಸ್ಯ ಚತೇಷ್ಟೇಸ ಗೋವಿಂದಮಾದಿಪುರುಷಂ ತಮಹಂ ಭಜಾಮಿ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಸೃಷ್ಟಿ ಸ್ಥಿತಿ ಪ್ರಳಯ ಸಾಧನ ಶಕ್ತಿ ರೇಖ ಸೃಷ್ಟಿ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಷನ್ ಸ್ಥಿತಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಮೈಂಟೆನೆನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರಿಸರ್ವೇಷನ್ ಪ್ರಳಯ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಷನ್ ಸೃಷ್ಟಿ ಸ್ಥಿತಿ ಪ್ರಳಯ ಸಾಧನ ಶಕ್ತಿ ರೇಖ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಛಾಯೇವ ಯಸ್ಯ ಭುವನಾನಿ ಬಿಭರ್ತಿ ದುರ್ಗ ಛಾಯೇವ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಮೇಜ್ ಆರ್ ಶ್ಯಾಡೋ ಸೊ ದುರ್ಗ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಆಫ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಇಂಟರ್ನಲ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟರ್ನಲ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮಾರ್ಜಿನಲ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಸೊ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟರ್ನಲ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಈಸ್ ದ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೈಂಟೆನೆನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ಕೇರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಇಚ್ಛಾನುರೂಪಂ ಅಪಿ ಯಸ್ಯ ಚ ಚೇಷ್ಟೇಸ ಇಚ್ಛಾನುರೂಪಂ ದ ವಿಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲಾಡ್ ಇಚ್ಛಾ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ನೇಚರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟರ್ನಲ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲಾಡ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನಿಂಗ್ ಇಂಡಿಪೆಂಡೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ಇಚ್ಛಾನುರೂಪಂ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದ ವಿಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲಾಡ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ವರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಮಾದಿ ಪುರುಷಂ ತಮ್ಮ ಹಂಬ ಜಾಮಿ ಸೊ ಐ ಅಡೋರ್ ದ ಪ್ರೈಮಿವಲ್ ಲಾಡ್ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಇನ್ ಅಕಾರ್ಡೆನ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಹೂಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ದುರ್ಗಾ ಕಂಡಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಹರ್ಸಲ್ ಇನ್ ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತ ವಿ ಕೆನ್ ಸಿ ಮಯಾ ದಕ್ಷೇನ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಸೂಯತೆ ಸ ಚರಾಚರಂ ಮಯಾ ದಕ್ಷೇನ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಅಧ್ಯಕ್ಷೇನ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಬೈ ಮೈ ಸೂಪರಿಂಟೆಂಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಭಯ ಅಧ್ಯಕ್ಷೇನ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಈಸ್ ಸೈಯಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಬೈ ಮೈ ಸೂಪರಿಂಟೆಂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಈಸ್ ವರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ನೇಚರ್ ಈಸ್ ವರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ದ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟರ್ನಲ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ದ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಇಂಡಿಪೆಂಡೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ದ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟರ್ನಲ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಈಸ್ ವರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ದ ಸೂಪರ್ವಿಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಬೈ ದ ಸುಪ್ರೀಮ್ ವಿಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಬಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪರ್ಪಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ದಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಷನ್ ಮೈಂಟೆನೆನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ಸ್ ದ ಸುಪ್ರೀಮ್ ಪರ್ಸ್ನಾಲಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಹಿಮ್ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಅಪಿಯರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಮೆನಿ ಥೌಸಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇನ್ಕಾರ್ನೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ಆಲ್
So dharmasya glani in a sense, wherever, uh, whenever and wherever there is a decline in the practice of religion, at uh, that time I myself appear in this material world. So, and again Krishna says that paritranaya sadhunam vinashaya chadushkritam dharma samstapanartaya sambhavami yuge yuge. Uh, and for what Krishna comes, what is the purpose of coming here? So there are two purposes, uh, paritranaya sadhunam and vinashaya chadushkritam. Uh, so the first one is paritranaya sadhunam, to deliver the devotees, to deliver uh, the pious people. And vinashaya chadushkritam, that is the second one. Yes. Uh, to kill the demons and dharma samstapanartha sambhavami yuge yuge I appear in every millennium and I myself appear in every millennium Krishna says so there are two purposes to save devotees and kill demons so in this the primary purpose is to save devotees so to kill demons Krishna doesn't have to come personally here and to kill demons no, that is the secondary purpose the primary purpose of Krishna's appearance in this material world is to save devotees, to protect the devotees. Like when Krishna comes here, uh, he performs uh, many pastimes. So by seeing those pastimes, by hearing those pastimes, we get attracted to Krishna. So we will uh, you know, develop the desire that I should go back to Krishna. So we conditioned souls, we came to this material world and Prabhupada says that we are rotting in this material world. So to take us back uh, to his own abode, so Krishna comes here and does his pastimes. So when Krishna enacts this pastimes, naturally we are attracted as a soul. Uh, it is our natural tendency to get attracted to Krishna's pastimes. Uh, it's like, you know, uh, when uh, one lecture Prabhupada says that uh, if we see American football then we will not be attracted because we don't know what it is. But we know some things, we know some, some are attracted to music or some are attracted to you know, art or something like that. So we have, you know, we can relate to that. So we get attracted. So as a soul, naturally we are related to Krishna. Krishna says that uh, mamaiva amsha jiva loke jiva bhuta sanatana uh, so mamaiva amsha we are all part and parcel of krishna we are eternally servant of krishna we are eternally related to krishna so as a soul we are naturally attracted to krishna we naturally attracted to hear the pastimes of the lord and we naturally attracted to serve lord uh, that is a constitutional position of uh, soul jivera swarupa hoy krishnera nityadas so that is a, uh, our uh, original position as a servant of Krishna. So that is a dharma of soul to serve Krishna. So as, as a soul, when we are pure, uh, when we are uh, you know, not contaminated by this uh, material modes, not uh, covered by this material modes, we serve Krishna. But when we fall in this material world, when we you know, uh, came to this material world to enjoy independent of Krishna, so then that dharma uh, is transforms into you know, perverted dharma. So as a, as a uh, soul, our dharma is to serve. But now it is perverted. Now we are in this conditioned nature. Now we are covered by these material modes. And, uh, <clears throat> but the dharma doesn't change. No. The dharma is to serve. That doesn't change. No. Prabhupada says that uh, dharma of sugar is to be sweet. No. So it, it cannot change. No. If, if it is tasting salty, we cannot say this as a sugar. No. That is a dharma of sugar to be sweet. So dharma of soul is to serve. But now the question is whether we are serving Krishna or, or serving Maya. So now it is perverted, now we are in this conditioned nature, now we are covered by these material modes, now we are trying to serve Maya. 
So instead of glorifying Krishna, we are glorifying uh, mundane people. You know, husband glorifies wife, wife glorifies husband, father glorifies son. You know, a political party members they glorify the politician, the political leader. You know. So it is perverted now. Uh, instead of glorifying Krishna, we are glorifying mundane people. So <clears throat> some people they. They are uh, crazy about this uh, movie stars, sports stars, you know. So they like to watch uh, movies. They like to glorify, you know, uh, who are participating in that movie. You know. So it is like <clears throat> it's a uh, illusion that somehow or other, you know, we want to be happy, and we are trying in a you know, wrong way. So by seeing the movie, and uh, we see. <clears throat> who are acting there and they are happy, they are enjoying, you know. And uh, by seeing that, we will also think that, no, okay, I will also enjoy like this. You know. So that is all uh, just on the screen. It, it will never come true. Like, for example, in the advertisement, we can see it is just, you know, a paste advertisement. A person is using that paste and immediately smiling and girl is attracted to that man. But this is all an illusion. It, it never happens. Like now we think that no, I will also use that paste and it, like, this will happen to me also. This will not happen. So this is all an illusion. So that's why devotees, <clears throat> we avoid uh, watching mundane movies. And So this will trigger that... Uh, thought that let me be happy in this material world. By seeing them, we get bewildered. Okay, I will, I can be happy in this material world. That we will get that motivation to be happy in this material world. But that, that never happens. So till we surrender to Krishna, we can never be happy. So Krishna says, Mamu Petya Punar Janma Dukkalaya Mashashvatam. So, Mamupetya Punar Janma. When someone comes to me and, and there is no Punar Janma, they again they will not go back to this material world. So, even though we are in this material world, we, when we surrender to Krishna, we can be happy. It is not that when we go, to, go back to Krishna, then uh, we will not take birth again, then we can be happy. It's not like that. So, even though when we are in this material world, when we are surrendered to Krishna, we can be happy. Like in one incident, <clears throat> in the airport, uh, devotees were distributing books and uh, they said that stop them, they cannot book distri uh, distribute books there. So then they asked how to identify them. You just look, look at their face, they are happy. <clears throat> so that is the way to identify devotees, they are happy always because they are surrendered to Krishna. So when we surrender to Krishna, then only we can be happy, otherwise uh, it is not possible to be happy in this material world. So, so the transcendentalists, the devotees, they won't uh, you know, get pleasure in glorifying mundane people like that. So they glorify Krishna. So uh, when they uh, glorify Krishna, automatically we are happy. So because Krishna is the master of senses, he is Rishikesha. So, when we satisfy the senses of Krishna, our senses are automatically satisfied. We are happy. So, devotees are not attracted to this mundane uh, glorification. <clears throat> Why? Because uh, in Bhagavatam it is mentioned that Nivrita Tarshair Upagiya Manad Pavaushada Chotra Manobhiramad Kavuttama Shloka Gunanu Vadad Puman Vrajeta Vinapashugnad so it is mentioned nivritta tarshair so they released from all uh, material desires all uh, lusty desires all material activities so they are released from uh, the material activities so in that way they are they are not attracted to uh, hearing uh, glorification of uh, mundane people they they want to uh, relish uh, the glorification of lord so when in Bhagavad Gita also there is one sloka that they take pleasure in discussing the topics of Krishna. Machitta Matkratapana Bodhyanta Parasvaram. 
katayantascha maam nityam tushyanti cha ramanti cha so that is a uh, you know, that is a pleasure for devotees to glorify krishna and it is said bhava aushada shotra mano bhiramat bhava aushada when we are in this material world that is the medicine so to hear about the lord to glorify lord that is a bhava aushada so that that ultimate medicine medicine we should take so even uh, prahlad mara says that balasya neh sharanam pitaro narsimha nartasya chaahadam udanvati majjato nahu taptasya tat pratividir ihaanj shreshtas tavad vidho tanubratam tat upekshitana so is saying that balasya neh sharanam pitaro narsimha a child no uh he is taken shelter of the parents so that is not the actual shelter balasya neh sharanam pitaro narsimha nartasya chaagadam udanvati majjato nahu and when we are diseased we take shelter of medicine and that is not the actual shelter and when we are drowning in the ocean if a boat comes you take shelter of the boat but that is not the actual shelter so we have to take shelter of krishna we have to surrender to krishna so that is the actual shelter that is the ultimate shelter like uh, bhakti siddhant mara says that um, when a person is drowning you just save their coat that that is not <coughs> really saving them you save the coat and but still the person is drowning so in that way it is all a protection for the body so we have a big bank balance and a big house a security is there with a gun and we have very ferocious dogs to protect so all this is all a protection for the body it is not the actual protection it is not the ultimate protection ultimate protection is to serve krishna and to surrender to krishna so whatever protection we have big bank balance we have anyway one day we are going to die but the what is this protection this protection is useless actually one day or other or today or tomorrow or one year later or 10 years later we are going to die no? so this bodily protection is not the actual protection no? so when someone is not uh, surrendered to krishna he is into this uh, bodily activities no? is trying to protect his body then he is considered as uh, pashugnat so killer of soul or uh, you know a butcher means he is killing his own self because he is not surrendered to krishna so he has so much protection bodily protection and one day he is going to die and next life again he is going to take birth and he may take birth as animal you know so then what is the use of all this protection so this protection is all useless though so that's why it is called uh, pashugnath he is a killer of his own self he is a butcher so uh, the actual shelter even if we take uh, when we are diseased we take medicine so that is not the actual uh, uh, shelter even uh, in prabhupada mentions in one purport that aushadi chintayet vishnum aushadi means medicine when we take medicine we have to think about vishnu vishnu is the one who cures our disease not that medicine aushadi chintayad vishnu i i'm not sure this verse may be in 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 ayurveda or something but i'm not sure but probably mentions this uh, quotes this in one of the purport that we have to think about vishnu when we take medicine so that is the uh, actual shelter so when krishna comes here he appears he enacts his past times to attract conditioned souls for that purpose krishna appears in this material world but we discussed in the uh, beginning of the lecture that everything is happening by the will of the lord just by the will everything is happening so even krishna can kill all the demons just by the will even by the will of the lord uh, all devotees can go back to him 
so even by the will krishna can do this no because he is no a supreme lord is a controller of everything but if he does that then uh, krishna uh, is interfering in our independence in our free will so krishna doesn't want to interfere in our independence so when we were in uh, association with krishna when we were in spiritual world uh, we had the that free will that out of free will we thought that uh, okay let me enjoy independent of krishna so out of that free will uh, we came to this material world and we are trying to enjoy independent of krishna so even now krishna is not interfering in the free will so out of this free will we came to this material world <clears throat> and out of the same free will we have to go back to spiritual world so now we have the free will that whether we have to surrender to krishna or surrender to maya whether we uh, <clears throat> serve krishna or serve maya yeah. so uh, here that free will we have to decide that we have to surrender to krishna when we surrender to krishna when we glorify krishna then uh, then we can uh, be happy we can go back to krishna so therefore <clears throat> who will see hearing such glorification of the lord except a butcher or one who is killing his own self so that is the purpose of life to hear about lord and to glorify lord and then we go back to krishna go back to our original position so where uh, d- uh, devotees they don't take pleasure in mundane glorification they don't take part uh, in uh, in a meeting where there is no glorification of krishna so in bhagavatam it is mentioned that nayad vachas chitrapatam harer yasho jagat pavitram pragrinita karhichit tad vayasam tirtam ushanti manasa nayatra hamsa niramanty ushikshaya here it is mentioned that tad vayasam tirtam so uh, the translation is those who those world those words which do not describe the glories of the lord who alone can sancti- sanctify the atmosphere of the whole universe are considered by saintly persons or to be unto a place of pilgrimage for crows since the all perfect persons are inhabitants of the transcendental abode they do not derive any pleasure there so any literature or any talk uh, any place which is not glorifying krishna then it is considered as a you know, assembly of crows so where you know, crows will assembly in a filthy place in a dirty place so the where the crows are assembling there the swans won't be there the swans they be in a clean place you know where there is full of lotus and the uh, clean water you know, there the swans will be uh, so even among the animals there is a division swans they will be in a certain place and crows they take place they take uh, pleasure uh, in certain activity in certain place so so you even among the human beings there are category of crows and uh, swans uh, so the devotees they take pleasure in glorifying the lord so where there is no glorification of the lord then uh, then it is like assembly of crow then the then even the sound of a crow it is considered as inauspicious so they don't take pleasure in uh, such a situation so the persons who are devotees who are like swans they take pleasure you know they take pleasure in krishna consciousness they come to uh temple and they attend satsang <clears throat> you know and uh, they hear this philosophy they take prasadam <clears throat> but the people like uh, crows they go to pub they go to you know uh, bar <clears throat> you know? so that is a pleasure for them but <clears throat> with that pleasure we don't get any benefit so the benefit we get only by hearing uh no krishna katha the <clears throat> glorification of krishna so in the purport prabhupada mentions that uh, both those who are present during such activities and those who hear the transcendental narrations 
<coughs> of such activities are benefited. So only by hearing the narrations of <coughs> the pastimes of the Lord, only then we get benefit. Otherwise, it, it is all, uh, there is no benefit in uh, <coughs> by hearing all these mundane uh, things. So, the point here is, Krishna appears and uh, he incarnates uh, in this material world to enact these pastimes to attract the conditioned souls. So, that is the primary purpose of appearing in this material world. As we discussed, Paritranaya Sadhunam. So, deliver the devotees, that is the primary purpose of Krishna's appearance in this material world. So, even in Bhagavatam, it is mentioned, uh, in Kunti Maharani is praying that Apare Vasudevasya Devakya uh, Yachito Bhyagat Ajastvam Yasya Kshemaya Vadaya Cha Suradvisham. So, it is similar to the verse. Paritranaya sadhu nam vinashaya chadurkritam dharma samstapanataya sambhavam yuge yuge. So here, um, you know, it is mentioned that ajastvam asya kshemaya vadaya cha suradvisham. Ajas means aja, he is unborn. You know. So even though he is unborn, he takes birth in this material world uh, to do these two purposes to save, to de deliver the devotees and to kill the demons. Surat Visham, it is mentioned here. Kshemaya, Kshemaya means for the good, for the good, for the deliverance of devotees and Surat Visham, to kill the demons. The two purpose Krishna appears here. So even though he is unborn, undoubtedly you are unborn, yet you take your birth for the welfare and for their welfare and to kill those who are envious of the demigods. So, in Bhagavad Gita, it is mentioned that Avajananti Mahamuda Manusham Tarumashritam Parambhavam Ajananto Mamabhuta Maheshwaram. So, here in the translation, it is mentioned that uh, the adventurous pastimes of the Lord, the Supreme Controller, are performed by His internal powers. It is all Krishna's taking birth, Krishna's all activities, everything is by his internal potency. It is not by external potency. Uh, Krishna says, Janma karma chame divyam. Uh, it is all Krishna's uh, birth, Krishna's activities, all divyam. It is all transcendental. It is not part of this material world. So when one understands the Janma and karma of devotees, then, you know, deham punar janma naiti mamiti So they won't come back to this material world. Uh, they go back to Krishna. Uh, so this is all transcendental activities, Krishna's <coughs> birth and activities. So here it is mentioned, even though uh, he is Aja, he is unborn, he appears here, he incarnates here <coughs> to uh, deliver the devotees. Uh, so here it is mentioned that uh, Avajanati Ma Muda, Muda, foolish person, they think that uh, Krishna uh, has taken a material body and he, he took birth. So when we say that who is God, Krishna is God, no, Krishna is, <coughs> God is unborn, but Krishna has taken birth, how, how, how he can be God? The foolish person they say like this. But here uh, Krishna says them that avajananti ma muda, foolish persons they think like this. Manushim tanumashritam. So Krishna has taken a human body, they think like this. And it is said, Parambhavam Ajananto. Parambhavam means he takes the transcendental nature. Out of transcendental nature, Krishna appears here in this material world. So, it, it is not that Krishna has taken a material body. That is, that is completely foolish. So, Krishna himself saying that I myself appear in this material world. I appear in this material world out of my transcendent nature. Janma karma chame divyam. So, in many places, Krishna confirms that. You know, so, he appears in this material world out of his internal potency. You know. So, here, here in this translation, it is mentioned that he uh, appears out of his internal power. You know. So, here in this verse, uh, Vasudeva and Devaki in their previous life, they, were, they, uh, they didn't have children, they did tapas uh, and as a uh, what was the name? Krishni and... Krishni Karpal 
Sutapa. Sutapa and Prashnika. So they did tapas and then uh, Krishna appeared in front of them and Krishna asked what do you want and they said no I want a child like you. So then Krishna said that child like me there is no one like me. So if you want a child like me then I should appear as your children. So for this then Krishna appeared as their son. So it is uh, it is because the devotees they wanted and Krishna appeared uh, in this material world. So here in this verse also it is mentioned that Vadaya Cha Surad Visham. So and also Krishna comes to uh, kill the demons. When Krishna appeared, he killed many demons. And and as we discussed, that is the secondary purpose. The primary purpose is to satisfy devotees to uh, no, to take back the conditioned souls uh, to his own abode. So here uh, Vasudeva and Devaki they prayed to satisfy the devotees, Krishna appeared in this material world. So here in the purport, uh, Prabhupada mentions that both those who are present during such activities and those who hear the transcendent narrations of such activities are benefited. So even in uh, Bhagavatam it is mentioned that uh, Vasudeva Kata Prashna Purusham Trin Punatihi Vaktaram Prachakam Shrotrim Tatpada Shadilam Yataha So here it is mentioned Vasudeva Kata Prashna Questions about the pastimes and characteristics of Vasudeva Krishna So these questions Vasudeva Kata Prashna Purusham Trin Punatihi and Vaktaram Prachakam Shrotrim Tatpada Shadilam Yataha So here it is mentioned the Ganges, it appeared in this material world and this Ganges purifying the entire three planetary systems upper, low, upper planetary systems, middle planetary systems and lower planetary system. So this Ganges is flowing in the entire uh, three uh, upper, lower and middle planetary systems and it is purifying the entire uh, universe. So in that way, this questions about the pastimes of Krishna so it is purifying three kind of people. So who are they? Vakta, Vaktaram, Prachakam and Shrotrim. Vaktaram is the speaker who is speaking Srimad Bhagavatam and Prachakam, the inquisitive hearer who is hearing Bhagavatam in the sense who is asking questions and who is answering the questions. They both will get benefit and the third one is Shrotrim and the other people who are hearing this conversation, they also will get benefit. So the three people who are inquiring about the pastimes of the Lord, who are hearing the pastime of the Lord, and who is glorifying the pastime of the Lord, who is answering those questions. And then the other people who are sitting and hearing those conversations, they also will get benefit. Like Ganges, he is purifying the entire three planetary systems, upper, middle and lower planetary systems. So in that way, all three categories of people, they get benefit by hearing the uh, transcendental narrations of the Lord. So here it is mentioned, this transcendental narrations uh, will purify both who present at that time and now who are hearing those pastimes. So everyone will get benefit uh, by uh, hearing the pastimes of the Lord. So this is the ultimate benefit. So when we hear about the Lord, you know, then we don't take birth again in this material world. Then we go back to Krishna, then we uh, permanently, be eternally be happy with the association of Krishna. So, but the mundane hearing, uh, this, this won't help. This will degrade us more in this material world. So, the ultimate uh, purpose of this human life to hear about the Lord, the, to glorify Lord. So, the, by glorifying, everyone will get benefit. That is the ultimate benefit we should get in this human form of life. So, Hare Krishna, any questions, comments regarding this? Shri Mad Bhagavatam ki Shri La